Hello everyone. How about doing this sketch of a cute little teddy bear and kitty in color pencils along with me? Would you be interested? Come on then, stay with me till the end and let's see how this can be done. I'm using a simple cartridge paper here and after marking out the basic outline of the teddy and the kitty that I want to do, I'm starting with the pencil work. I'm using a very basic simple color pencil set of 24 colors. I'm starting with the eyes now and for the sparkle or highlight of the eyes, I'm simply leaving the paper white in that area. Like I say in all of my videos, the direction of the light source is very important and that determines which side of the elements will be light and which sides will be dark. In this case, I am considering the light source coming from the direction of the top right corner and therefore the right hand sides of all the elements will be in lighter tones and the left hand side of all the elements will be in darker tones and also the shadows of all the elements will be on the left hand side. Now because the teddy bear is a furry toy, I am making its edges furry by using simple jagged strokes and for the colouring of the whole of the teddy bear, I will be using mostly diagonal strokes and I will be simply layering over different shades of the colour pencils over each other in order to get the desired shadings. Obviously, since color pencils is an entirely different medium altogether, very different from the ones that we have handled before like the watercolors or the pen and wash. Here we cannot simply mix the paints on a palette just like in watercolors and use them. Instead, we will have to use strokes of the various shades of color pencils over each other on different angles of the strokes or maybe even the same strokes in order to get the different shadings that we want to have and to achieve this it's always a good idea to work from light to dark for all the shadings because it's easy to make the paints turn darker later on but if you start with darker tones from the beginning and then try to add the lighter tones it may not gel together also the pressure that you give on the pencils is going to be another important factor because the more the pressure that you put on the pencils the darker the tones are going to be and so wherever you want to have lighter tones you will have to reduce the pressure and wherever you want to make them dark you will have to add more and more pressure the way you want. So then keeping in mind all of these factors let us proceed to complete our teddy bear.
and now that the teddy bear is almost done I am starting work on the kitty basically the procedure will be the same as was followed for the teddy bear with the same sort of line work and same sort of shadings so let us proceed and start work on our kitty And now let's add some color to the background. For the background I'm using some vertical strokes just to have some difference from the teddy and kitty themselves. And I will be adding a few shadings here and there for the background too. I may add a few other colors to the background too. And I will also add the shadows on the background for the teddy bear and kitty both so that the teddy bear and kitty start popping out and start looking more prominent too. Some shadow work on the basis of the kitty and teddy bear will also give a very good effect. And now for the base too I am using some horizontal strokes so that too starts looking a little different. I am adding a few details here and there for the teddy and the kitty both so that we finish the work.
For the whiskers of the kitty, I am using some white paint and applying it with a brush. And so that's it. Our color pencil work of this teddy bear and kitty is done. How did you like this video? If you liked it, do give it a like. Subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. And of course, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for the future videos. You may also leave your comments below as to what other works you would like to see. Also, click on the end screens displayed here to watch other videos. See you in the next video then.